you know i was really hesitant to do this update because i will be playing games why is it that every time i update my phone it's slower shit i don't even know like i can't even tell you that like You know, like, if I, I don't know, like. Why? <laughs> Never know, you know, like. Oh, okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, we're going to be doing the trending iOS 14 home screen pages, whatever you want to call it. So, actually, I'm going to scoot over so you guys can see my screen because we're going to hop right into it. So my whole aesthetic is neon colors, but you can obviously do whatever aesthetic you want. You can do neon, you can do a fall theme. I saw someone do, I saw someone do all black and pink. So you can just kind of pick whatever aesthetic you want. So I basically did an overall neon aesthetic, but I did different colors on each page. Not gonna lie, this took like six hours. Six hours, yeah, so. And it's still not completely done, but I just still wanted to film this video now so you guys can get a general gist of how it works and what exactly you need to do. So I have nine pages, which is a lot, and this isn't even all my apps, which I know some people just keep most of their apps in the app library and then just do the cute little apps on one or two pages, but I just put all of them because, well, most of them just because I wanted most of them out here. So on the last page, I put the three apps that you're going to need. The two main ones that everyone uses, Widget Smith and Shortcuts. And then the one that I use to make my themes neon is called Neon Video Maker. And then I also used other little apps like just my camera roll to change the tint of things so that it fits the theme better. If you go to your camera, you can change the sharpness, the saturation, which I'll show you so that it, all the colors fit exactly how you want. Like if you go onto my first page, this neon sign was actually red, but just by adjusting the saturation in my camera roll, I was able to, let me turn off, turn on my do not disturb so we don't get too many notifications, but I was able to get the exact colors that I wanted. This second um, widget on this page, I actually, created myself so the outlined heart is a google image and then i turned this image into a png which means the background is blank there is no background it's just the silhouette and then i just put it on top of each other so to do that i used blackboard not blackboard i keep getting homework notifications i used pixart hold on let's turn off these notifications okay we're good so yes, so you just need these three main apps, but if you want to do the little details like I did, you're going to need PixArt and what's that? That is going to allow you to lay the pictures on top of each other like I did for this second one, if I can get to it here. And you can use this other app that I have called Magic Eraser, which is this one that I'm holding the, that I'm holding over right now, that's highlighted called magic eraser and that is what allows you to erase the background of any picture you have and i'll show you how that works actually you're gonna go into the app and let's say i wanted to delete the background of this white photo oh that one was already deleted of this white photo here so i would choose the photo crop it to what i want hit done hit this wand here and just tap the area you want to delete that simple and now everything that's it's only the yellow there's no background. So yeah, that's really great for customizing the photos that you want. I feel like a lot of people do videos on the general of how to use shortcuts and widget smith, but never how to customize the actual it, the actual images that you want on the screen. So by the way, can anyone comment down below how to remove the words widget smith uh, like under the pictures? Because I know someone said that that's possible to remove, but I don't know how. So... First, I'll show you guys how to get these images, the larger images, the pictures onto your screen really quickly because I'm sure this is like your fifth video that you're watching. So you're gonna hit, you're gonna go into your camera roll or go into Safari, whatever fits your aesthetic and download the picture into your camera roll. 
Once it's in your camera roll, you're going to hit widget smith. And you're going to hit, and you can see I have so many here because this is all of the ones that I have right now. Don't delete them after you put them, by the way, because then it'll delete it off your screen. So I'm going to hit add a small widget or you can add a medium or add a large, depending on what you want on the page. So I'm gonna hit add a small, and then I'm going to tap on the picture, scroll down from where it says style, I'm just scrolling down and I'm hitting photo. Not photos and album, just photo. Then at the bottom, you're gonna see selected photo pop up. You're just gonna tap that, hit choose photo, and then pick the photo that you want. I'm gonna use this one that says pray. By the way, a lot of my pictures are like God focused or God centered. That's a really good pro tip if you're Christian and you really wanna try and stay God focused, make everything like posters in your room, your lock screen, your backdrops, make all of that God centered versus quotes from the Bible, reminding yourself to pray, be watchful, listen, all the fruits of the spirit, all of that. But yeah, that's a little just quick pro tip. But yeah, so you're just gonna hit choose photo or I, yeah, we already chose this photo. So now we're gonna go back to where it says small eight, we're gonna go back and we're gonna hit save. So now what I like to do is pick all the aesthetics that I want, save them to my camera roll, and then just do this all at once. So I did all of these all at once and just save, 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 save. So then all you have to do is go to your screen, press and hold, I'm gonna add it to this page, and hit the add button at the top left. You're gonna scroll down to Widget Smith, and you're gonna pick whichever size that you chose for the picture that you want on that screen. And we chose small, so I'm just gonna hit add widget. And the picture pops up, but if it's the wrong picture, you can tap on the picture, hit where it says widget, and it was number eight for us, so I'm gonna switch it to eight, and hit done, and now you have your photo. Same thing if you wanna add a larger one, or if you wanna make this photo that you have here larger, you're gonna have to go back into Widget Smith and do it under large. As you can see, I have it here under large number seven. So all I would have to do is press and hold my screen, hit large, scroll down to Widget Smith, and hit large, add widget, and tap on the actual picture and make sure it's number seven, I think we said. Yep, and that's how you would get the larger image. And same thing for the medium. Now, like I said, a lot of my neon pictures, I couldn't find that many online, so I had to make them. Um, all these on this purple page I made, and I don't really like the aesthetics of all my pages yet, but I still wanted to pump this video out right now. Like everything doesn't really match all the way, but it's okay. These uh, pictures I made as well, and these two I made as well. The backgrounds, I just got them off of um, Google or Pinterest or whatever site you want to use. And then I just went into neon video creator which video maker that's what it's called i went into neon video maker and i just hit add and i'm just going to keep the current selection and you just pick whatever photo you want crop it to the size you want and then you can just type whatever you want there so i'll put my channel name just so you guys can see okay and then you can you can make it bigger you can change the color of it so that it fits the aesthetic and the theme, like that would work. And then you can change the brightness and you can change the strength of the light behind it, which I always try to put to the highest strength. So yeah, that's how you would make, and then you would just hit save and save to image because obviously you want the image and it would be in your images and then you would be able to put it on to your screen as a backdrop. So all the backgrounds you see for these customized images that I made, I just found on Google or Pinterest. And then I put the words over top using that app called Neon Video Maker. That's what it's called. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do everything. Yeah, no, I don't know what I was on, but that's definitely not everything. So one last thing that I forgot to show you guys is how to actually change the photos of the icons that you have. So what you're going to do is pick whatever picture you want on Google or Pinterest that fits your aesthetic. Then you're going to save it to your camera roll and you're going to go into shortcuts. Which I'm going to tap here. I'm going to hit the plus button at the top right. I'm going to hit add action and then I'm going to type in open app. 
oops, not all, open the app. Hit open app and then hit choose. I'm gonna pick the first app here, ADP Mobile, and then on the top right, I'm gonna hit the three dots, hit add to home screen, type in the name of the app, ADP Mobile, ADP Mobile. I'm gonna hit the picture, choose photo, and you can see all the pictures I was taking for a thumbnail. Um, we'll go with this glitter one, hit choose, add at the top right, and now it's added to your home screen. So now if I go to my home screen, it'll be right here in the corner. So yeah, that's how you do that last thing. I don't know how I forgot to show that, but yeah. If you guys want specifics on how I was able to get each picture, get the exact tones that I wanted, and for the specific apps, I did the same thing. I just looked up Google Images. If I couldn't find the image of the app that I wanted in a certain color, I just put filters over it or whatever I had to do to get it to the color that I wanted. For example, like the NBC logo you see here, the CVS logo, the CW, all of those I just, actually some of these I just screenshotted a white background and laid over the words C and W or, you know, whatever it was so that I didn't have to do much. And yeah, so obviously this aesthetic on this page doesn't match perfectly yet, but yeah, this is pretty much all my pages. Um, if I didn't specify on something, just comment down below and I can make a part two of how to do it. But that is all and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Pieces and deuces.